So Keyshawn, you did pick the Thunder to win this series in part because you're not a big Luka fan. So scale of one to 10, how much trouble do you think the Thunder are now in? I would say it's probably a five. Mm -hmm. I, don't think, I don't think it's trouble, okay? They, 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 they split at home. Now they go and split in Denver and just go ping pong and, and back and yeah. forth. I mean, no, no. in Dallas and mm -hmm. ping pong back and forward. Yeah. It didn't go from there. Look, Luca played lights out in the first quarter. They couldn't do nothing with him. You mentioned it. He, was, he had a horrible shooting from the three in his playoffs. All of a sudden, he goes five for eight. And he hit four of them in the first quarter. He slowed down in the second quarter. He did. He kind of got ice cold. And then yeah. at that point in time, they didn't take advantage of that. Then you got Tim Hardaway Jr. coming off the uh, coming off the bench, somebody who's been cold throughout the playoffs. He knocks down 17. Well, he's been out. He'd been well, out for four yanks. So. He's been out, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's been out. He, yeah. he knocked down 17 points for him. Yeah. So when you look at that, Kyrie decided, okay, I'm going to play defense. I'm not going to shoot the ball all the time. No, he I'm going to let my other guys yeah. do their yeah. deal, and I'm going to distribute and yeah, just be did. like a point guard and running things. And he did that. But it's not like the Thunder lost by double digits. Mm. They lost by nine points. It wasn't double digits, Skip. It wasn't, they didn't lose by 24. It wasn't one of those situations. Mm -mm. In the crowd, for whatever reason, it, it felt like the crowd wasn't really into it like game one. It didn't... Well, didn't Luca had something to do with that in the first quarter. They never got on track. They never got out yeah. of it, yeah. you know, and I was kind of like... Yeah. And P.J. Yeah. PJ Washington had something to do with that. He did, too. And, and P.J. Washington had something to do with that. By so, the way, had seven threes in the first three quarters. Yeah, he was knocking that's, down. That's hard to So beat. when I look at it, I think they're just going to ping pong back and forth. Yeah. And then let's see where it goes. I, I got it going to six or seven anyway. I never had it as a sweep, but I just feel like the Thunders and the Young Guns are turning around and figure it out. Yeah. And they may lose this game, this first game in Dallas, and then bounce back in the second game in Dallas. They well might. Agreed. On a scale of one to ten, my concern for the Thunder, and if I were them, it would be at a nine skip. Mm. At first, I thought seven, but it's, it should be a nine because this is for the first time as a group. They're going to really feel, see what it really feels like to be on the road in a real playoff well, setting. They, they haven't lost a playoff. This is their first playoff loss. Well, well yeah. not only their first playoff loss, but they're going to see what a real on-the-road playoff environment is going to look like because yeah. I don't think they saw that in New, New Orleans. No, I agree. Dallas is a different place than New Orleans. The fans are way different. And now... You done awoke in a sleeping giant, which I told you, Luca's gonna bounce back because that's what star of stars do. They bounce back. All this stuff that, oh, he's hurt, he's limping. He did that in, in the Clippers series where you was like, I don't know, he looks like he's this and that. And I told you, I said, watch, he bounced back in game two and give you a superstar performances because that's what superstars do. Mm -hmm. He set the tone in game one. He came out and gave his team confidence, 16 points. Then he sort of took a step back, didn't really do much in the second and third quarter, but you know what he did? He closed it. He closed the game. He did. And now you got a young team, the youngest number one seed in NBA history going on the road yep. with their first piece of adversity. Mm. I'm just not sure they're ready for this, Skip. Mm. Not in their first playoff run mm. together. I'm not sure they're ready for this, and I think... Luka Doncic is going to set the tone again. And they should be worried because Kyrie only had nine points. Mm -hmm. Kyrie? Mm. I'm willing to bet another dinner that Kyrie won't have nine points again the rest of the playoffs. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> exactly. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought he played a beautiful game, though. He distributed. He did. P.J. Washington had it going, and they got a big lip out of Tim, Tim Hardaway, Hardaway Jr., which is like, whoa, uh-oh. If he comes along now, yeah. then... This is giving them even more depth because, you know, Josh Green has been solid. Yes. Lively's been solid in his yep. role. Yeah. And now Dallas is looking like a real true contender to me. They're like, once they beat them, because I had Dallas winning in six. So if they get past them and whoever they see out of Minnesota and Denver, just remember, they got Luka Doncic and Kyrie. Mm. You know, Kyrie is a champion. And... They're going to be a tough out. I'm telling you that now, Skip and Key. They're going to be a tough out because they're going to get past this series. It's just no way I see a, a team. And, and I love I love OKC. They're one of my favorite teams to watch. Shea is going to be an MVP one day, but, you know, Chet still has a way to go. You're asking your rookie to put up great numbers as your third option. 
in, in a playoff setting, it's just mm. a lot to ask for him. Mm. You know, he didn't play well for them. He, he's going to struggle in these situations. Okay, so. so it sounds to me like Paul Pierce is saying Mavericks in five. Is that what no, you're No, I had him in six before the series started. But I said Mavericks like in six. it sounds like you just reconsidered and you got him in five. No, no, you Mavericks will win the next two. Well, it two. does. It sounds easy. They'll you get think the Oklahoma City's cooked now? They cooked. Yeah. They cooked because uh, okay. they'll get the next two and they'll have a pride game. Dallas will go up, win the two at home, go up 3-1. Mm -hmm. There'll be a pride game on the line at home in mm -hmm. OKC. That'll be their last home game of the season. Mm -hmm. Then they'll come back to Dallas and, they'll, and, that, and that's when Dallas will put them out. Okay. And I got Maverick, I'm sorry, Thunder in seven. I got Thunder in seven, and we got a dinner on it, and I feel real good no, about my dinner. Feel I feel good. real you do good. You not feel real good. Real good about my dinner, because I told you yesterday, Luca would bounce back. Luca is just that. too good. I said it also. Uh-huh. I said that Luca is just too good not to have a big game tonight, and it'll be one-to-one -one going to Dallas. And to Keyshawn's point, the Thunder are going to win one of these two games Probably and go could. back home they two could. to two. That's just how they, they've done it all year long. Just when you think it's safe to write them off, they rise back up and everybody contributes and they win a game on the road that you think they could not win. Shea can't play no better than this, I don't think. Well, he does this every night. But this is why he I should mean, have been geez. MVP because he doesn't have a Jamal. He doesn't have a second star. Nobody really went with him. Jalen kind of went with him last night and had 20. But that's... Okay, so he, here's the problem with the Thunder right now. The only concern that I have, and you guys can laugh if you want, but I've been watching them every game all year long. Yeah. Their heart and soul player is Josh Giddy because he is their second leading in assists and second leading in rebounds. And I don't know what has happened to him, but he has lost it. <laughs> and Dagnalt <laughs> benched him to start the second half. I mean, he's been starting wait, wait. all year. That's he, their heart and soul? Well, he is their heart and soul because he's their guts and glue guy. Yeah. He, he's their guy. He's their distributor. He kind of plays point guard. Minus 20, and, Yeah, well, he was, he was horrible. Is he but hurt? You, is you, he hurt? No. Nope, he, he fell in the dog. Okay. He felt like so, he fell in the dog. So, so 10 dog. games this year, he scored 20 or more points. 10 times this year, right. 20 or more. He had a 31 in one game. So he is capable of also scoring big numbers. And all of a sudden, not only did he get benched, but then Dagnall gave him one little run. He put him in <laughs> mid-third quarter, and he lasted like one minute, and he turned it over. It was a horrible, sloppy, careless turnover, like an out-of-a-turnover. Yeah. And they went the other way and dunked it off the turnover, <laughs> and Dagnall said, you come over here and sit by me. So he is now doghoused, and he's... He's a starter. You know, he's he's a guy who's going to average 35 minutes, yeah. and he barely played last night. Okay, so you got me on that one. He's going to have to break out of it, but I think that he will. Mm -hmm. But this was a three-point shooting contest, as most of these games are, and the Mavericks made theirs, and Oklahoma City, who led the league in three-point shooting percentage this year, for once did not have a good shooting well, night. Well, sure, I'm man. trying to one see. I'm looking at Josh Giddy, the heart and soul. Mm -hmm. He played 10 minutes and was a minus 20. How I just happen? said, I don't know. I, I told you, well, happen? he got benched. He didn't even start the second <laughs> minus half. Minus 20 and 10 okay, minutes. Okay, well, yeah, I said you got That's me. Wild. But you better laugh while you can laugh because <laughs> these guys are serious. They just keep coming back. People try to write them off all year. And then you look up at the end, and they had the best record in the West. And they did. Luckily, yeah. because Denver lost to San Antonio okay. Spurs on the last day of the season. All right, but, but they, they never did. was really getting run out of the building. Nobody is, nobody is scared of OKC. They don't intimidate nobody. All right. Are they good? Absolutely. Is Shea right. Gilgis the real deal? Absolutely. But they don't have that intimidating factor. They don't have that. Like, Shea has been great. All year long, 30, 30, 30, average he just 30. does it, yeah. But I'm not sure if he can give you that signature game to where he's just going to say, I'm going to put this, this team on my back, and I'm going to go for 50 tonight. He doesn't go for 50. He doesn't, he doesn't go do for that. 50, but no. he goes a lot of 30s. Mm -hmm. will, Luka, will Luka do that? He's Luka, capable. Is Kyrie capable of that? Mm -hmm. So I got two guys on one team capable of putting a team on his back. Yeah. say, I can go for 50 on any given night and carry our team when everybody else is not playing well. And you're still confident in OKC. You were being prisoner of the moment of what you saw <laughs> last night. It made you very happy. It made you excited. And you said, I got this. Well, I got to be happy about yeah. something. My Celtics lost. I so understand. at least, you know, I'm pulling for Dallas. I was actually impressed that you came in today. <laughs> I, I thought maybe we wouldn't see you. I thought it was just yeah. going to be me and Keith. Yeah, he, right? wouldn't, he wouldn't text me back. <laughs> I did text you back. Yeah, right. after I sent you the brick emoji, you no, texted yeah. me what back. I'm, what I'm going to text back? What am I going to say? I can't, not, not gonna say. <laughs> All right, so now back to Luca. I think you were suggesting that he, quote unquote, plays hurt, as in he acts like he's hurt when he's really not hurt. 
Yeah, you know? something going on with this. There were two or three times last night he goes down, and I think, oh, well, that's it, right? It's it's and all of a sudden he pops right up, and he looks just fine. It comes right? out hit a three. Uh, you I see know. that? Yeah. <laughs> Come back and hit a three at the okay. end. Okay. So back. what's up with that? Is is Man, he? Man, uh, uh, Luke is a gamer. Yeah. He got a lot. He's this is similar to, to to me. He's a gamer. He knows how to play through pain. He's a dog, mm -hmm. and uh, just a little blood. You see, they had a little blood on his knee. He had a little blood on one knee. And a it's knee brace like on the other. Kurt Schilling's sock. Remember yeah, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all come out. He come out and hit the step back three to ice the Y'all really, really want to write this story, boy? Y'all something else? Yeah. Y'all really yeah. trying to write this you story? You see that? That's the second time he had blood on his knee. Yeah, he, he, you, know, <laughs> you know, I'm watching and listening to everything. Oh, he's holding his elbow. Something's wrong. Something's Luke is wrong, a gamer. Know. He's a dog. Yeah. Skip said it yesterday. He's a, he's dog. a dog. No, he's a dog. He's a dog. No, he's a really, really, really good player. But in the end, just like I would say about Jason Tatum and anybody else, I need you to finish it, man. Mm -hmm. I need no, you just listen, to like, it. like Luke is a winner. No, like, not, he hasn't it, won the championship, yeah. but he's a he's a I legend. You, in but Europe. I need you. I need and, you. And to I've seen it. this from him. They went to the uh, Western Conference Finals one year, and who was his second best? Per I can't even tell you who was his second best. Jalen Brunson, right? He was. Yeah. yeah when was. they went to the Western Conference Finals, yeah, mm -hmm. Jalen Brunson. That was, was. two years. Mm -hmm. But Jalen Brunson wasn't Jalen Brunson at the time. Well, he couldn't be because <laughs> you playing with Luke, yeah, right? Yeah, but like and they had a different style. Yeah, it was different. And, I'll, and, and it's just something different about this guy. It's something different about this guy. Right, He's added an all-star, and they I, became a contender. I will also point out, Lou Dort did hit a three in the middle of the third quarter, and all of a sudden, Oklahoma City went up three. Yeah, that was the biggest it, lead they had in the game. And that was it. But Luka was resting yeah. for a while, and they went on a tear. When the bench came in, the bench yeah. went on a tear. Okay. They started defending, what, went up 10. What did you say yesterday about Luka? Sometimes it's just hard to play. It's LeBron-esque because he's so ball-dominant, and it's all Luka all the time. It's yeah. hard on Kyrie, and Kyrie yeah. just accepted his fate last night and said, I'm going to go along for a good ride here, yeah, but I'm going to do all the little things. Yeah, it's hard to win with that style of play. I have said that. You okay. know, it's hard for Kyrie because they both need the ball. So, you know, it, it, this, but see, this is where Kyrie has to take advantage of that. And I think, you know, when Luka comes out the game, the ball has to be in Kyrie's hand. And this is where he, he can have, do his little magical work. And, and I thought he played so well when, when Luka was out, he decided I'm going to be a distributor. Yeah. Because, you know, he got into the lane. Instead of forcing those tough layups, which he can make, he was finding guys in the corner for three. He found Josh Green. You know, that Josh Green has been excellent on both ends of the court. Yeah. He's defending. He's knocking down shots. Lively, I don't even know. Really, they should have won by about 15 points because Lively missed a few at the rim where he usually dunks those balls. And... and all right. There was tough shots. Even that, that little fadeaway, Dort was challenging it. He was. Dort is tough. Yeah. Uh, I, I like what he brings to the game, too. Yeah, but you love the Mavericks now. I love the Mavericks versus yeah. OKC, yes. Versus OKC. Done deal, over and Dundee, out. Done yeah. deal, over and out. I think I'm going to eat another dinner from Paul Pierce. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.